And I would like to ask you what you would have to say to people of color and white folks who could do a little bit more questioning around the white supremacy that exists here on this land, nearby in the educational system here, in the people here in this room, what we can do about the white supremacy that exists both in our society and in ourselves. That's difficult. Uh, <laughs> first of all, you know, uh, a lot, a very, you know, there was a time when I had a great deal of hatred for white people because I saw them as, uh, you know, the source of all the pain and suffering that I had experienced and the injustice and the inhumanity and stuff, you know. Uh, uh, I'm happy to say, you know, through education and wisdom and experiences, I've grown up. But I, me, you know, uh, you know, my mom used to tell me something. She said, you know, boy, when you look with your, with your, with your, with your heart and not your eyes, you see more. You know, so that's how I try to look at other human beings. You know, uh, uh, Martin Luther King said in, his, in, in, in the way he phrased it was the content of character rather than the color of the skin. You know, so, you know, that's, it starts with you, voice, how you look at other human beings. A white supremacy is a very dangerous, perverted, evil philosophy in this country. The only way, you know, it is probably the only philosophy that I'm aware of that education can't change. You know, you can raise a person's level of consciousness with the truth. And nine out of ten times they will change, you know. There are people in this country who feel that because by 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 the right of color of their skin and the texture they have, their physical features, that they are superior to everybody else. I don't know, I haven't figured out how, other than to stand for what's right, stand for what's moral, you know, and to see, when you see people, look with your heart, not just your eyes, you know, the eyes can be misleading sometimes, but the heart usually, you know, uh, tells you the truth. At least that, it works for me.